Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I just did heatless curls. Look at this. I've just done a live get ready with me and I took my curls out and was like, surely this is not, this is amazing. I brushed through them twice, um, put a little bit of oil spray in them and we'll see how they last throughout the day. Um, also, this is the lip that I'm wearing. It's It was sent to me ages and ages ago. It's Pixie Sheer Rose. Love it, love it. Um, right, I'm going to go to work today um, and I thought I would pick up a vlog because because we're supposed to be vlogging every day and I've just not been very good this month. Like I said in a previous, I mean, I've, you know, I've not been bad, just not every single day. Uh, like I said in a previous video, I felt like I just had a little, a few too many plates spinning. So I kind of gave myself a little bit of grace and said, this is not actually that important. It's not actually like life or death. Vlogs are not important. Um, so I laid off a little bit, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, oh, I'm gonna put my jacket back on. Um, I might put some perfume on. I'm just going to finish getting ready. I'm taking this bag for my friend at work because she said she really liked it when I was wearing it. And since I've got this bag, I'm not wearing this at all. And it's just, as much as I love it, it just isn't my style. You know when you get something and you're like, right, this is who I'm going to be. Um, it's kind of like a aspirational item. That was so... Not prim and proper, but very like, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of like the style of a Birkin or like a, a Mulberry. Um, <laughs> you turned the car off. Milo's got the keys. That's why babies aren't allowed the keys. Um, you know, like a Mulberry, what is it called? The big one with the handle, Bayswater. Um, I love the bag, I love the style, but it's just not my style, you know, it just doesn't go with my stuff. Um, so I'm going to give that to Charlie at work. Hopefully she'll get more use out of it than I will. Cause it just seemed like so, too nice of a thing to just keep. <sighs> right, I finished work. Oh, it, feel, it felt like a long day and a short day all at once. And it also really threw me off because I usually only work a Friday in the office these days and it's a Wednesday. As I've just been walking out, I was like, is it Friday? What day is it? Kind of confusing. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and pick up my from school now um and i saw oh i saw everyone from work that was at my house on saturday almost everyone um and we all got together and sent molly a video message because she got married today which was lovely we all, the way the place that i found for us to do it um was uh it had all like banners and stuff in the background like work banners and our colors and whatever and i said it's almost like it's a branded announcement um but that was really fun it reminded me of the good old days when we all actually were in the office all the time we used to have our 10 30 um meeting meeting in the canteen we haven't got a canteen anymore bad times i think i've got a door open somewhere because it didn't have a thing on it but like the lights on is it no, it's not going off. I think the door opens somewhere. Anyway, speaking of like the camaraderie of the office, um, the girl I gave the bag to gave me a Costa gift card and it reminded me of, um, what's that mean? Battery discharge warning. It's a scary alert. Um, it reminded me of when Phoebe on Friends was trying to do uh, a selfless good deed, saying there's like no selfless acts. Uh, and things kept happening to her that were a benefit to her after she'd done selfless acts. Um, I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about people giving away things that they've received in PR or like gifted items. Um, I would never sell anything that I'd been given for free, effectively. Um, anything that I'd marked as gifted or PR. But over the years, for sure, I mean, there's been things that I've received so many of, like multiples of, um, that I've used one of them or I've used like whatever, especially things that have been sealed, so much makeup that I have um, donated, or if it's used, then I'll tend to like pass that on to people that I know. Um, and then also clothes and things. There's just, I mean, this is 14 years on. You kind of develop a system, you cannot keep everything. Obviously you don't want to get rid of things, um, actually like throw things away. You can't sell them. I, I'd feel like that's like, <laughs> not even an ethical gray area, I just wouldn't. 
Um, and so when I find something that maybe I'm not going to use this as much as I thought I was, or maybe I just was never going to use it, I give it away. So I loved that bag. Really, really beautiful bag. Um, it's just not my style. And when she complimented it and I realized I was never going to use the bag again, uh, cause she complimented it when I was carrying a different bag, I was like, she's going to get so much more use from it than I am. So I don't feel bad about it at all, but I totally get if someone's like offended or upset by the fact that I gave something away. Um, anyway, anyway, that is all that is to say. Now I feel like I have actually benefited from something because I gave it to her and was very clear I don't want anything for this. This was, I did not pay for this with my own cash. I want you to have it um, and you will use it more than I will. Um, and she was very sweet and gave me a Costa gift card, but then this has left me in a, an ethical minefield. <laughs> okay, I'm obviously at home. I'm at home and I'm straight out of the bath. And I'm trying to get into the habit of, I get out of the bath, I do my IPL. And I realized, I mentioned this the other day, and someone was like, oh, mine says not to use it every day. So does mine. And we just met. Um, but when I was using it on my bikini line, I was using it every day. I think I was using it every day just to like, I can't remember to do something once a week, that's not gonna happen. But I had such amazing results and no negative effects at all. I was like, well, if I'm ever gonna get around to actually consistently using this on my face, it's gonna be every day. So I'm trying to get into the routine. I shave my face while I'm in the bath. And then I come into the office and I do my skincare. I do my IPL, then I do my various bits that I do. And then when I go downstairs, I do my red light mask. I've been pretty good with this recently. And I mentioned in a blog post um, that my skin has been really, really good at the moment. And I was crediting it with various things. And I actually think it might be this because I was watching a video where someone was talking about the def different uses. I think it was like a sponsored video where they were like telling you, oh, you need this IPL because it does all of these things. But a few of the different things that they said it did was it helped with acne scarring. I was like, what? So I started Googling it and apparently it really does help with um, scars and like pigmentation. Who knew? So this little area down here, which I got just weird acne last year, and it's never really gone away. Those acne scars haven't gone away. And every time I get breakouts, it tends to be in those areas. So it's just like constantly coming back. Um, and they faded for the first time in a really long time. And it can only be this, even though I'm using my red light, night definitely help, helps with pigmentation. This has been like on my area all the time. It's gotta be this. And I don't think it's important which eye pill you buy, honestly. The one I've got is one called Skin Smooth. It's years and years old. It was originally sent to me, but there's nothing in it for me talking about it now. Um, I honestly don't think it makes a difference. Just whatever is in your price range, if you are in the market for an IPL. And so far, it has weirdly had some additional skincare benefits. Another thing I was saying earlier is since I've added these steps into my skincare and I've been being like, actually doing the same thing every day which is so weird for me i really like flip between things even with my skin and me i've been horribly inconsistent in the past six months um but because i've added in these curel steps and i'm trying to use my eye cream trying to use my serums and stuff i'm like in what order i know that you're supposed to do like lightest to heaviest but like this is a moisture facial milk i think i should do my serum before so i do my essence then I do my serum. So I'm going to use my skin and me. I'm going to use my eye cream. Then I'm going to do the facial milk. Then I'm going to do the moisturizer. I have no idea if that's the correct way to do this. But that's what I've kind of settled on. Even though this skin and me serum is def or serum treatment is definitely heavier than the facial milk. It's a confusing one. I am totally obsessed with this facial milk though. It absorbs so quickly. It's so nice. I think part of the thing with a consistent skincare routine is just, if you enjoy it, even if it's just like, oh, these products are new, so I'm excited about using them. Whatever you can do to get yourself excited about using things. Like, I find that with SPF. If I can find an SPF that's, like, interesting to use, it's going to encourage me to try and remember to use it every day. But mm, I'm going to let that absorb a little bit before I do my final night cream 
Um, now I'm going to go back downstairs. I'm going to make dinner, uh, do my light therapy, do my night cream. This has become my nighttime routine. And I'm going to go to bed because I am exhausted. I think that will round out February slash vloguary. Uh, like I said at the beginning, not, I mean, inconsistent is probably the word of the month, but more vlogs than usual. We're not doing vlogging every day in March, but we will be attempting it again in April. I'm going to do every other, every other month, old school. Uh, and then I think in the months that I'm not doing every, every day vlogging, I'm going to try and kind of like flex my creative muscles and do some different kind of styles of vlogs. So that's maybe what you'll see in March. Um, I'm also going to try and do some like daily outfits on Instagram and just trying to change it up a little bit and keep things interesting for me as much as you guys um, and just kind of try different things and see what I'm enjoying because in April it'll be 14 years that I've been doing this it's a really really long time um, and there's always something that has to be changing to keep you kind of keep you interested in, in a thing I think I think that Every other month, daily vlogging is a really great way of, like, changing it up, you know? Um, and I want to try and do that with the other platforms as well. So next month it will be Instagram. I'm also getting more into the beauty content. We will see what the month brings. Thank you for joining me so far in 2024. And if you're new, hi. Of course, many of you are not. Uh, and I appreciate you just as much, if not more. Uh, in fact, someone said the other day, they were like, well, we all know, yada, yada, yada. And I thought that's so funny because for so many years I've been making content specifically just for the people that follow me already um, and not really trying to get anyone <laughs> new to follow me. Um, and it kind of made me laugh because I thought, yeah, it does feel like this is a community of people who uh, you almost all know each other because there's so many people in the comments that all comment every time. Um, or at least very regularly and then I see people talking to each other and it feels like a group of people that know each other it feels like there's 10 of you who all get together and watch the video and I know you it's a small group but I love you all <laughs>